So I was doing a little brief research on how long it takes to grow sundews from leaf leaf pullings or cuttings. Oh my god, fucking fly just landed on me. Um, and it's like, why would you ever do it from leaf pullings versus just doing it from seed? I mean, they're saying like, you know, you can get a plant faster, an adult plant faster. But look at this. I have like a million sundews. And the thing about the Cape Sundew is that as soon as it flowers, they basically all try to flower again. And that one already started flowering, so I'm just gonna let it happen. But um, now I'm just gonna start cutting all the flower stalks off for now, because I already have a flower stalk over there, just ready to go, loaded with seeds. And I don't need any more Cape Sundews. I have a whole, this pot right here. So, yeah. Basically, I was just thinking, why the heck would anyone ever use the leaf cutting method when you can just use seed so so easily? Maybe a plant is asexual or doesn't set seed, and then I understand that that that's a reason. Like this one, for some reason, this one every time it flowers, that it doesn't set seed. <clears throat> so. For this one now, I'm going to start cutting off all its flower stalks as well. And this one over here tried to flower, but I cut it off. But the plant looks like it's going to die for some reason. So I'm not sure why. Maybe it just was confused or it's trying to go dormant temporarily. But it's a tropical sundew, so it shouldn't go dormant. But it's not looking dewy. It's not growing. I'm kind of not sure why that is. So. <clears throat> 